Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauser Weiss and this is the continuation video of dissolution of a partnership firm. You can find the playlist link in the description box. In the previous video, we have seen model journal entries for dissolution. In this video, we are going to see one comprehensive problem for normal dissolution based on the previous video. Now, let's see the problem. See the problem A, B and C sharing profits in the proportion of 3 is to 2 is to 1. They decided to dissolve the partnership firm on 31st December 2020. Their balance sheet on that date was as under liabilities assets. Under liabilities, three partners, capital account, bank loan, sundry creditors, Mrs. A's loan, B's loan, reserve fund, life policy fund. Okay, these are the various liabilities. Then look at the asset side. Cash at bank, goodwill, investment, joint life policy, profit and loss account, plant and machinery, stock, debtors minus provisions. Okay, now see the adjustment. First adjustment, goodwill, plant and machinery, stock and debtors realized for rupees 35,000, 30,000, 8,000 and 18,000 respectively. Look at the second adjustment. The joint life policy is surrendered for rupees 10,000. The investments are taken over by B for rupees 25,000. The realization expense amounted to rupees 1,000. Then A agreed to discharge the bank loan. There was an unrecorded assets of rupees 500 which was taken over by C at rupees 400. Okay, with this information, they are asking you to pass journal entries and prepare realization account, capital account and bank account. Okay, so these are the three important or necessary ledgers we need to prepare for dissolution of partnership firm. See, the first step is under dissolution, we need to transfer all the assets to realization account. Okay, so all the assets except few things. The first one is cash or bank balance. Number two, debit side of capital account. If you find any capital account under asset side, just leave it. And the third one, profit and loss debit side. This is a loss. Okay, except these three things, we need to transfer all the assets to realization account. So journal entry, realization account data to all assets. So what are the assets we need to transfer according to this problem? Goodwill. Investment, joint life policy, plant and machinery, stock and data. Okay, now see the entry. See the first entry. Realization account data to sundry assets. The group of assets total 1,33,000 being all assets transferred. Okay, now see the problem. The second step is we need to transfer all the provisions to realization account. Okay, so according to this problem we have two provisions. The first one, life policy fund. This is the provision we have kept for joint life policy. Okay, this one and one more provision which is given under asset side, provision for debtors. Anything which decrease asset is equal to liabilities. Okay, this provision also is liability. So, we need to take these two provisions. We need to transfer these two provisions to realization account. See the entry. Provision for debtors account debit life policy fund account debit to realization account. Narration being transfer of provisions to realization account. Total 16,000. Now see the problem. The next step is after closing all the assets and provisions, now we need to transfer all the third party liabilities. So what are the third party liabilities? See the problem under liability side. Bank loan. This is third party liability. Sundry creditors. Mrs. A's loan. So, these are the three third party liabilities that is external liabilities. We need to transfer these liabilities to realization account. So, journal entry. See the entry. All the third party liabilities account debit to realization account being transfer of liabilities. So, these are the three important entries you have to make in order to transfer or in order to close all the assets, provisions and third party liabilities. Okay. After doing these three things, 
Now we need to check with the adjustment. Look at the first adjustment. Goodwill, plant and machinery, stock and debtors realized for rupees 35,000, 30,000, 8,000 and 18,000 respectively. Okay. So these are the assets were realized for cash. What is the entry? When we realize any assets for cash, what comes in? Cash comes in. So who is the receiver? Banker is the receiver. So what is the entry? Bank account data to realization account. Okay. See the entry. Bank account data to realization account. So this is the entry for assets realized for cash being the assets sold for cash. Total 91,000. Okay. See the next entry. The joint life policy is surrendered for rupees 10,000. So this is also one of the asset that is a joint life policy 15,000. No, this particular asset is surrendered. Joint life policy is surrendered for 10,000. This is also inflow of cash. So what is the entry? Bank account data to realization account. Okay. See the entry. See the fifth entry. Bank account data to realization account. Being joint life policy surrendered for cash. So anything which receive cash, this is the entry. When you realize any asset for cash, this is the common entry. Bank account data to realization account, 10,000. Okay. See the next adjustment. The investments are taken over by B for rupees 25,000. See here we have investment. How much? 20,000. This particular asset realized but not for cash but one of the partner has taken up. What is the entry for that? See the entry. See the sixth entry. Who is taken up the asset? B. So instead of bank we need to record the particular partner's capital account. Okay. So, B is capital account debit to realization account. So, this is the entry for investment taken over by B. How much? 25,000. Okay. The next one. The realization expenses amounted to rupees 1,000. So, any payment, the same entry. Realization account data to bank account because the realization expense paid in the form of cash now. So, that what is the entry? For payment, this is the entry. Realization account data to bank account being realization expense paid off. Okay. See the next adjustment. A agree to discharge the bank loan. So here we have bank loan. No. This is one of the third party liability. But this particular liability is taken up by A. A agree to discharge this particular liability. So what is the entry? Instead of bank, we need to enter the particular partner's capital account payment. No. See the entry. Realization account data to A's capital account. Suppose if the particular payment is made in the form of cash means realization account data to bank. But here one of the partner is agreed to take up the responsibility. So that instead of bank we need to record the particular partner's capital account. So realization account data to A's capital account being bank loan paid by A. 10,000. See the problem. Here they have given only bank loan. So this is the third party liability and apart from the bank loan we have another two important third party liabilities that is Sunray Creditors and Mr. A's loan. But nothing is mentioned regarding these two third party liabilities. Okay. So it is mandatory to repay third party liabilities first. Okay. Whether the information is given in the problem or not we have to discharge these third party liabilities. Okay. So how much amount due to creditors? 4,000 and Mrs. A's loan 8,000. So we have to pay out of realization account. Okay. So what is the entry for that? See the entry. Realization account data to bank. This is for creditors and to bank. This is for Mrs. A's loan. 4,000, 8,000, total 12,000. Narration being third party liabilities paid off. See the adjustment. We have discharged the third party liabilities. Okay. The next one. There was an unrecorded assets of rupees 500 which was taken over by C at 400. Okay. If the unrecorded assets realized for cash in that case, what will be the journal entry? Bank account data to realization account. Okay. So we have realized for cash. But here that unrecorded assets taken over by C at rupees 400. So instead of bank, we need to enter that particular partner's capital account. Okay. See the entry. 
look at the 10th entry sees capital account data to realization account being unrecorded asset taken over by mr c how much 400 rupees see the problem we have passed journal entries based on the adjustments given in the problem now see the problem under liability side we have one more liability that is b's loan okay this is the partner's loan okay this is the internal liability so this we have to repay after paying all the third party liabilities if we have sufficient fund then we can repay partner's loan also so what is the entry for that payment no b's loan account data to bank account you need not record this loan that is the partner's loan under realization account directly you can make payment out of bank account okay entry b's loan account data to bank account see the entry look at the 11th entry b's loan account debit to bank account okay being b's loan paid off how much Fifteen thousand. okay see the problem after making the important journal entries now we need to check is there any undistributed or accumulated profit or losses any okay so you can find the accumulated profit under liability side and you can find the accumulated losses under asset side okay see the liability side here we have reserve fund so reserve fund is nothing but it is a undistributed profit which is belongs to partners capital account this we can transfer to partners capital account entry reserve fund account it out to all partners capital account according to their profit sharing ratio okay in the same way we have accumulated loss also under asset side you can find this profit and loss debit balance this is the loss again this will be transferred to partners capital account so what is the entry for that partners capital account data to profit and loss account okay see the entry for transfer of accumulated profit and losses okay see the first one this is the transfer entry of accumulated profit reserve fund account debit to all partners capital account according to their profit sharing ratio 3 is to 2 is to 1 okay being accumulated profit distributed among all the partners and the next one transfer of losses see all the partners capital account data to profit and loss account being accumulated losses transferred to all the partners capital account according to their profit sharing ratio 3 is to 2 is to 1 okay now see the problem see so far we have seen journal entries for dissolution of partnership firm okay after making the necessary journal entries the next one is we need to prepare necessary ledger accounts so what are the necessary ledger account realization account capital account and bank account okay now let's see how to post journal into ledger that is realization account capital account and bank account okay see the first entry assets transfer now what is the entry realization account data to sundry assets so enter this under debit side of realization account debit side to sundry assets one lakh thirty three thousand next entry all provisions we transfer to realization account now so what is entry provisions account data to realization account and a realization account enter these items under credit side by credit side by provision for data by life policy fund okay see the entry see the next entry third party liabilities account data to realization account okay and a realization enter these items under credit side by bank loan by sundry creditors by mrs a's loan next entry all the assets were realized for cash how much 91000 bank account data to realization account so enter this under credit side under realization account credit side by bank this is the entry for assets realized okay how much 91000 next entry the next one joint life policy surrendered for cash entry bank to realization no so enter bank under realization account by bank this one is joint life policy okay realized for cash how much 10000 next one 
investment taken over by B. Entry B's capital to realization. So instead of bank, we have entered B's capital. No, so enter this under realization credit side. By B's capital account. How much? 25,000. The same will be entered under B's capital account opposite side while you prepare the capital account. Okay. The next one. See the next entry. Realization account data to bank. This is the entry for realization expense paid. Okay. Now you have to enter this under realization account debit side. Under realization, this is payment no debit side to bank. This one is realization expense paid. Within the bracket you can mention for your reference. How much? Thousand. See the eighth entry. Realization account data to A's capital account. This one is a bank loan paid by Mr. A. Okay. So enter A's capital under realization account. Again we have to enter realization under A's capital account while we prepare the capital account. Okay. So realization account data to A's capital. And this is the entry for bank loan paid. 10,000. See the next entry and this is the entry for third party liabilities paid. Okay, what is the entry? Realization account data to bank. This is for creditors and another bank. This is for Mrs. A's loan. Enter these items under debit side of realization account. Debit side to bank. This is for creditors. How much? 4,000. Another bank. This is for Mrs. A's loan. How much? 8,000. See the next entry. Uh, this is the entry for unrecorded assets taken over by C. So entry C's capital account data to realization account. Now this will be entered under credit side of realization account by C's capital account. This is for unrecorded assets. 400. Next one. B's loan paid. Okay. What is the entry? B's loan account data to bank account. So here there is no realization account. So you need not record this under realization. Instead, we have to enter this entry under bank account while we prepare the bank account. Okay. See the next one. Here also there is no realization account and here also there is no realization account. That's all. So after posting all these items to realization account, now we need to close realization account in order to find out profit on realization or loss on realization whatever may be the final result will be transferred to all the partners capital account according to their profit sharing ratio now let's see closing of realization account after closing the realization account you will be getting either profit on realization or loss on realization okay in this problem we have got Profit. If you get any balancing figure under debit side, it is a profit. If it is under credit side, then it is loss. Okay. So here we have profit. No, the profit will be transferred to all the partners' capital account according to their profit sharing ratio. 3 is to 2 is to 1. So this is the balancing figure. And after finding this, we need to make a separate journal entry for this. What is the entry? Realization account data to all partners' capital account. See the entry. See the 14th entry. Being profit on realization transferred to all the partners capital account. Realization account data to all the partners capital account according to their profit sharing ratio. Okay. See the ledger. Okay. After preparing the realization account, the next step is we need to prepare capital account. Here we have three partners now. A, B, C. Okay. Now see how to prepare capital account. First start with opening capital. Capital is a liability, no. So, liability always showing credit balance. So, by balance brought down. Just see the problem. See the problem. Under liability side, capital A's capital 40, B's capital 25,000, C's capital 28,000. This is the opening balance. Okay. See, in the capital account, we have entered opening balance. That is by balance brought down 40,000, 25,000 and 28,000. Now, see the journal entries. And enter all the capital accounts related to A, B, C in the capital account. Okay. Let's see the journal entry. See the journal entries. In the sixth entry, we have 
B's capital. B's capital account it are to realization. Okay. So enter realization under B's capital. See the capital account. We have entered realization account. How much? 25,000 under B's capital. Now see the journal entries. See the eighth journal entry. Realization account it are to A's capital account. This is the entry for bank loan paid now. So enter this amount under A's capital account. See the capital account we have entered 10,000. That is a realization account it are to A's capital account. Okay. Now see the entries. See the 10th entry. Here we have capital account. C's capital account it are to realization account. Enter this value under debit side of C's capital account. Okay. So we have entered 400 under debit side of C's capital account. Okay. Now see the journal entries. See the 12th entry. This is the entry for transfer of accumulated profit. Okay. Reserve fund to all partners capital account. Under capital account, enter this amount under credit side. Okay. See the capital account. We have entered reserve fund. 3,000, 2,000, 1,000 for all the three partners. See the 13th entry. This is the entry for transfer of losses. So what is the entry? All partners capital account it are to profit and loss account. Enter profit and loss under debit side of three partners capital account. See the capital account under debit side we have entered accumulated loss. Okay profit and loss 3750, 2500 and 1250. Okay see the next entry. See the last entry that is a transfer of realization profit to all the partners capital account. Entry realization account it are to all the partners capital account. So enter this figure under credit side of partners capital account. See we have entered realization profit. We have transferred to all the partners capital account. 4200, 2800 and 1400. So after posting all the uh, journal into ledger. Now we need to close capital account individually. Now let's see whether they are getting debit balance or credit balance. While you close the capital account, you will be getting balancing figure under debit side or credit side. If you get any balancing figure under debit side, it is a final payment or final settlement made to the respective partners. If you get any same balancing figure under credit side, then the respective amount will be brought in by the respective partners. So in this problem, we have got debit balance. Okay, balancing figure under debit side. So this is the final settlement made to the three different partners. How much? 53,450. 2300 and 28750. So after doing this, now we need to prepare bank account. So under bank account, debit side all the receipts and credit side all the payments, including the final payment also will be recorded under credit side of bank account. And finally, you won't be getting any balancing figure under bank account. Now let's see how to prepare bank account. First, start with opening balance, debit side. Bank account is an asset. No, asset always showing debit balance. So, debit side to balance brought down. See the question. Look at the problem. Asset side, we have cash balance. Okay, cash at bank, how much? 11,500. This is the opening balance. So, we have entered opening balance. That is to balance brought down 11,500. Okay, now see the journal entries and find out all the bank transactions and enter or post it into bank account okay see the journal entries fourth one bank to realization account this is the entry for sale of asset for cash okay so enter this amount under debit side of bank account okay the next one bank to realization this is also realization of cash for surrender of joint life policy so this amount you have to enter under debit side of bank account and the next one and this one is payment Realization to bank. This is the entry for realization expense paid now. So this we need to enter under credit side, payment side of bank account. Okay. See the bank account. See the bank account under receipt side, that is debit side. We have entered realization account. This is for assets realized and this is for joint life policy surrendered. Okay. Under payment side, we have entered realization account. This is for realization expense paid thousand. Okay. Now see the entries. See the ninth entry, realization account data to bank. This is for payment to creditors and this is for payment to Mrs. A's loan. Okay, so enter these items under credit side, payment side of bank account. And the same way, 
base loan account data to bank. This is also payment now. Enter this under credit side. That is payment side. See the bank account. We have entered all the payments. That is payment to credit as payment to Mrs. A's loan and this one is B loan. Okay. So we have entered all the payments and finally see the capital account. We have got the balancing figure now. This is the final settlement made to A, B, C. Now you have to enter this payment also payment side of bank account. Okay, under bank account payment side by So after making all these things, now you can find out the total. In bank account, you won't be getting any balancing figure. So receipts is equal to payment. You will be getting equal value. Okay, 1,12,500. In the same way, you can find out the total payments. You will be getting same figure. 1,12,500. Okay. So, this is the way to prepare necessary ledger account under dissolution of partnership firm. Okay. In the next video, we are going to see insolvency of a partner. You can find the playlist link in the description box. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.